Hello, in this video we're going to graph sine, cosine, and tangent. Let's start with sine. The sine function has a beautiful up-down curve that repeats every 2 pi radians, or 360 degrees. So if you look here, it starts at 0, draw a little point at 0, it heads up to 1 by pi over 2, so you go to pi over 2, it gets to 1, then it goes all the way down to negative 1. It goes through 0 again at pi, then negative 1, up 3 pi over 2, and back to 0 degrees at 2 pi. And then it repeats. You can see it over here on the left. To graph this by hand, let's look at the unit circle. So here's my unit circle, and I'm going to graph y equals sine of x. x, you have to be very careful because on the unit circle, the x and y are different. The x is the value of cosine, if you remember. The y is the value of sine. On here, the x is the angle in sine. So we're taking this angle, and we're saying if we stretch out the angle, and just look at the y values here, what's happening? So I'm going to do this by making a chart. I would like to look at a full 2 pi. So I'm just going to start with some 0. If I look at 0, that means 0 degrees. And we know sine is the y value. So that's just 0. If I look at pi over 4, remember x is the angle. If I went pi over 4 and looked at the y value, that is square root of 2 over 2. Which, by the way, if you do that on your calculator, it's 0 0.7. And then if I look at pi over 2, sine of pi over 2, that's 90 degrees. The y value is sine. That would be 1. To plot these three points, I'm going to go here on my curve. And again, x is the angle, so that's what I'm going to do 2 pi. Half of 2 pi is pi. Half of that is pi over 2. So I'm just Graphing in this first little block, block here, let me mark that one as well. That one happens to be 3 pi over 2, right? Pi over 2, I'm going every pi over 2 of my coordinates here. And 0, 0, that's nice and easy. Point, pi over 4 is halfway between there. It's about 0.7, so if we make this 1, 0.7 is right there. And pi over 2 is 1. So you can see how it goes up. So if I continue plotting the rest of these main points, pi, pi is 180 degrees, and the y value is 0. 3 pi over 2 is 3 to uh, 70 degrees, and the y value is negative 1. And finally, we get back to 2 pi, which repeat the 0. So pi is 0, plotting those points. 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. And 2 pi is back to 0. You're going to get the shape that you see in my first drawing, or first picture. Let's move that up to the first screen. You can see that these points do fit. 0 degrees is 0 here. Pi over 4 is about 0.7, so that's halfway between 0 and 9 degrees, 45 degrees, and 0.7, if you notice the scale over here, 0.5 to 1. Pi over 2, we see is 1. Pi 0, 3 pi over 2, negative 1, and 2 pi 0. So it is that graph, and that's how you would do it by hand. So now let's plot cosine. Here's the website where I got these graphs. Plot the cosine. Cosine is just like sine, but it starts at 1 instead of 0. So if I scroll up here, if you notice, this one starts at 1, but sine started at 0. So then what it does, let's uh, look at those. So it starts at 1, it goes down, heads down to pi to negative 1, right? So it goes through 0, negative 1. Then it comes back up again through 0 all the way to positive 1. So that's the shape of cosine. And then it also repeats. So these two pictures, so these two graphs look very similar, 
The only difference is there's a shift of 90 degrees or pi over 2, which makes sense because they're co-functions. So now let's plot cosine by hand. Let's go back to our unit circle. There it is. Now, just like sine, you have to be careful because the x in this unit circle is not the same x. The x is the angle. The y is the value of the cosine, and the value of cosine is the x values. So you have to be very careful with that. But we're going to plot this. Again, I'm going to go for one full 360 degrees, so I'm going to break it up into four pieces. Half of 2 pi is pi, half of that is pi over 2. So then, right, I'm going to look at 0, I'm going to look at pi over 2, I'm going to look at pi. That would be 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. And I'm going to do this by making a table. I'm going to use the same values as I did above, minus the pi over 4. So looking at 0, so now we're looking at cosine. The cosine is the x, so the 0 is the angle, the cosine is the x. Notice how cosine is x, it gets smaller right, instead of larger. So when we go to y, the pi over 2, it is 0. Then we're going to go to pi, the next one is pi, the cosine is negative 1, again cosine is x on our unit circle, and it's the angle in our graph, 270, it is 0, and 2 pi, it is 1. So if I plot those values and make this one, negative 1, I get 0, 1. Pi over 2 is 0. Pi is negative 1. 3 pi over 2 is 0. 2 pi is 1. <clears throat> you get the shape above. So cosine works. Finally, let's look at tangent. There's tangent. Tangent has a completely different shape. It, it goes between negative infinity, negative infinity is a very large negative number, to positive infinity. Crossing through zero, every pi radian, so notice this crosses through zero here, every pi at zero, and then it goes up to infinity, down to negative infinity. At pi over two, or 90 degrees, the function is officially undefined, if you remember from, we'll look at our unit circle in a minute about that, but it is undefined at some points. That's where these dotted lines are. These are called asymptotes. So that's why it cannot cross to touch to have a beautiful graph like the ones above. So how do you graph this by hand? Well, again, let's go back to that unit circle, and I'm going to make a table. <clears throat> now again, x is cosine in the unit circle, but x is the angle. So let's make that theta, make sure that we know that that is the angle. x is the angle when we're doing a graph of y equals tangent of x. Okay, so first of all, I do know that the definition of tangent of theta is y over x. Tangent of theta we know is y over x in our unit definition. So if I do 0 degrees and I look at my um, unit circle, I know I'm going to do the y, which is 0 over 1, which is 0. If I do another point, let's go to pi over 4 this time. Pi over 4, we're going to get y over x. x and y, that's what x and y is in the unit circle. That would be a 1 because they're the same value. And then let's try the next pi over 2, pi over 2, y over x, and y over x is, in this case, 1 at pi over 2. Again, the x is pi over 2, and this would be y over x, which there it is, undefined. So if I graph that, what's happening is go to pi over 2, just to graph those ones, 0 is 0, halfway through pi over 4 is 1, that's great, but at pi over 2 it is undefined. 
So what I'm going to do instead of continuing on then is I'm going to go to um, negative pi over 4. Let's check out that one. Negative pi over 4. Well, there is negative pi over 4, which is the same as 7 pi over 4, and the y over the x, there's the x and the over y, they're the same value, but they're opposite signs, so it's going to be negative 1. And then finally at, oops, I lost my page. Now we're back. Um, now at um, negative pi over 2, we know that's negative 90 degrees y over x is undefined again. So, if I go that way, let me erase this. don't have enough room for that. Make a, another dotted line, because that negative pi over 2 is undefined. And at negative pi over 4, we know it's negative 1. So you can see, let's scroll down a little bit, that this goes this way, which is what the tangent looks like. So in the last couple of minutes, I want to show you a nice graphic that I found in Math is Fun. It is of the unit circle. Let me scroll down a little bit more there. And um, if you look at the red, well, I don't want to move this yet, but if you look at the red, it is sine, correct? Remember that shape, sine? And if I plot through and go to sine, just looking at the red alone, you see it goes to 0, it goes to 1, it goes to 0, negative 1, and back to 0. If you look at this, you can see the y values. Let's just look at the sign. Sign means the y values on the unit circle. The y values, they're increasing, they're increasing, they're getting bigger. See that red? It's looking bigger. And then you go over here and they're getting smaller. That makes sense until it's nothing. Now the y values are negative, all the way to negative 1. And then, so that is the visual picture from the unit circle to this new graph. Cosine. Cosine would be the blue, right? Don't we recognize that blue shape there? Do that quickly on this side. Okay, again, if we go to this side, Right, cosine we see is 1, starts at 1. Then what happens to the blue values? Look at those blue values up there. Aren't they getting smaller and smaller and smaller? Until they get to 0. 0 at 9 degrees, so that's where we're at the blue. Again, we're just paying attention to blue now. I know there's lots of lines going on. Now they're negative, going all the way to negative 1. Going back to, is still negative, but going back to 0. And then finally, right, they're positive again, getting larger to 1, right? And it even shows tangent, right? Tangent, what happened with tangent? Tangent was started at 0. It was y over x, kind of harder to see because you have to do the y over x. But you can see here between 0 and pi, they get bigger, it goes off to infinity. Let's see how big those values are at tangent, like 88 degrees, 90 degrees. Off to infinity, it was undefined. You can only see it for a second. Then it skips way down to negative infinity. Gets really big, big on the negative side. And then does a repeat of that same shape over and over again. That is the green. So if you want to look at this visual, you're more than welcome to. It is in um, the website. Actually, this is what I'll do because this is a live website, so I couldn't copy the um, the uh, address. But here it is: Math is Fun at Algebra Slash Trig Interactive Unit Circle. If you type that in, you will get you, you can play with this yourself. Hope that helps.